when we think of alla prima, usually we think of the sort of bravura approach where the paint is sort of skipping around and dancing on the canvas. And, and we look at, we focus a bit more on the abstract qualities of paint, the gliding, shooting, uh, and darting around the canvas. And we'll try to exploit some of that idea too. A little bit of turpentine just to spread a tone through here so we get an idea of the silhouette. And this will probably just sort of disintegrate as it comes down, just to also encourage the idea of a kind of painted sketch. If you break things up too early, the overall form gets lost, uh, the, which is really the most important uh, idea. It's how we'll immediately recognize this image, is from the larger masses. Using this sort of dry brush to control the mouth, just comparing the width to the nose. Slightly more ochre tint, so we got a good bright, rich color behind him. And we're just going to work that in around the head, and we're going to use that to draw with. So we're going to go right into uh, our uh, shadows and uh, we'll start with the uh, broad one coming down here that I see is more green down below and warmer picking up a little bit, not bright, but picking up a little bit of the yellow and that is reflecting back. It's just a hint of orange and yellow. We even throw in a few curls just to have fun. And then to get some of the edges, we'll take the background and pull it up and around the hair. Liven it up a little bit more, a little neutral, which will bring out a little more of the greenish hue. I'm gonna go back to the cooler light and use that for the edge of the filtrum. Maybe even throw a little green to it. Very cool right there. Slightly more violet on the other side. We don't need much there. And just the hint of that light just kind of coming into the eyes. Just throw that in. Just right along that axis there, and just a little, just catching.